But you know how I mentioned that I was a player, you feel me, at the time? I was probably talking to like, I don't know, like, probably like three different girls, bro, thinking I'm somebody. This was the end of it. This was the end of my player career, bro. And I'm only one year into it. Oh, man. I had such a stressful day. Now it's finally time to unwind. Oh, yeah, man. Let's get it. Yo, bro, you don't knock on the door anymore, bro? What's going on with you, bro? Come on, now. Whatever, now that you're here, let me tell you a funny story about the time I threw a 21st birthday party and it flopped. I'm talking about it was booty. Nobody was there, bro. That shit was desert, bro. All right, so it all started off on my sophomore year of college, man. This year was a very weird year for me, man. I was getting a little experimental with the girls, man. I was always a little simp, you feel me, man? Try to talk to one girl, simp her up, feel me? See if she'll fall in love with me on that little nice boy shit, you feel me? That wasn't really working. So this sophomore year, I came with a game plan for the women. I was like, yo, I'm about to just talk to as many women as I can, right? And start moving shysty, because I was tired of getting my heart broken. So I'm about to flip the script on these bitches. Keep in mind, there's a reason I'm telling you that I was a little fake player this year, man. I just want you to keep that in mind for the end of the story, you feel me? So you already know, man, this is my 21st birthday, man. And you know everybody goes all out for their 21st birthday. The actual drinking age, even though motherfuckers was drinking since they was like, what, 12, 11? Don't even get me started on that. But listen, this year, I wanted to do something crazy, something different, something out of the ordinary, man, because honestly, I never throw parties, man. I usually do a little dinner, a little go to the club, you feel me? So, so, like, so this year, I had something different in mind, man. I wanted to test my juice. I'm talking about, I wanted to test out my stain. I wanted to see if I had the clout, you feel me, to throw an actual party for the first time, man. And let me tell you, this might have been the biggest mistake of my life, man. I'm interrupting this video to bring a word from our sponsor, Dan Likes to Play on Twitch. If you enjoy highly competitive gaming with commentary that brings good vibes and much laughter, well, tune in to Dan Likes to Play weekly on Twitch. He's consistent, good, and funny. Alright, so when I had this party in mind, the first person that came to my mind was my boy, Jossier Powell. I know y'all seen him in my past videos. This was also around the time when my boy Jasir was finally getting his big gigs in these big clubs, you feel me? He was getting that bigger money, you feel me? And I had this idea in mind. I said, yo, if there's anybody I want to invest in a party with, it gotta be my boy Jasir Pal, because he know what he's doing. You coming to Walmart with me, right? All right, man, let's get, let's get it. I got some errands to run, you feel me? But uh, listen, so the plan was to split the party with Jasir 50-50, you feel me? The venue was like, I want to say like $300, something like that, you feel me? So we're going 50 each, you feel me? And man, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Because this was probably one of the dumbest ideas I had in my life. So me and Jesse here pick a day to pick out venues, you feel me? We looking, we looking, we on the internet going crazy. We can't find nothing in sight. But there's one particular place, man. It was literally all we had, man. It was like a Haitian, Jamaican restaurant something like that but it had a whole club scene in the background bro it was the best venue we could have got the time because we did shit last minute all right so me and just here cough up the money you feel me like i said 150 and 150 and honestly we should have did this like a month in advance but you feel me we did shit last minute and that's what we get now we get this little haitian jamaican spot as time goes by you feel me me and just here are hyping this party the fuck up i'm talking about we got a flyer made officially and all man it's probably the most professional i've been in my whole life and i was in college Imagine that. I'm talking about we had flyers, but we also had mini flyers. And we had mini flyers juniors, you feel me? So we could slip them under people's dorm rooms and go crazy. That was our main goal, to just hype the party up as much as possible, you feel me? We had to have that shit popping. I didn't want to embarrass myself, man. My party could not flop. I was scared, man. That was one of my biggest fears at the time, that my party would flop, bro. You know how embarrassing that is, bro? You threw a whole party, spent hella money, and nobody really shows up, that means you're a loser. As the days go by, you feel me? I'm not hearing nobody talk about this party, you feel me? That's the first red flag, nobody. Probably our, our inner circles is like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm in there, you feel me? Even when they said they was in there, 
I feel like they was gassing. I could hear it in their voice. They was lying to me, you feel me? But I just wanted to imagine. I wanted to manifest a good party, you feel me? Had to be positive about it. But man, this is why they say listen to your gut, people, because that's something we don't do often. And when we don't listen to our guts, you know what happens? We get fucked. So here's the last red flag. What me and Jasir forgot to do was literally look if there was gonna be any other events that weekend. And you know why that's important? Cause those are other waves, other functions that people will go to and skip out on mine, you feel me? Man, oh man, this was a big mistake, man. We didn't notice that there were two other parties going on that weekend and they were big parties. You know, in college, the club scene is crazy, man. Everybody want to get drunk, everybody horny. This was a jam-packed weekend because there was even a party on a Sunday, bro. That's some bullshit, man. <laughs> so, man, it was already too late. We realized we messed up, but we couldn't go back on our decision, man. It was too late. It was already set in stone, you feel me? So we just had to go on with it. In the back of our minds, we knew it was about to be ass, bro. I'm talking trash, bro. Mind you, we put money into this party thinking we was going to flip and make money back from the party. Tuh. We had to worry about if we were even going to break even at that point, bro. That's embarrassing. So fast forward, man. It's finally Saturday, the day of the party, and we are nervous because Friday passed, and they had a banger, bro. That shit went crazy, and that was not a good sign for us, bro, because that's already one party off the list. You know, people don't usually do two unless they feeling crazy, but that's rare, so. It's nighttime, you feel me? Time for the party, you feel me? I put on my best fit, because I wasn't going to go outside, you feel me? I had to look nice. So I did that. I pulled up with my boy, Jasir. I get to the party, and of course, nobody is there but me and my boys, bro. You know, there's no line like usually there is for a big party. Nobody. So nobody's there, man, except the African Haitians that owned the restaurant, you feel me? They already had to be there because they were on duty, you feel me? So listen, I'm already feeling embarrassed, you feel me? Jossie is DJing for the night also, if I didn't mention, you feel me? So he sets up to a clear floor, bro. He don't even know what kind of genre to start, you feel me? Because there's nobody on the dance floor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause the story real quick. Is that a motherfucking iPod touch? What the fuck going on, bro? They just pulled that out the meanest stash. But anyway, back to the story. But you know how I mentioned that I was a player, you feel me, at the time? I was probably talking to like, I don't know, like, probably like three different girls, bro, thinking I'm somebody. But where I fucked up at is that I had to decide who I was going to invite to this actual party, man. I couldn't mix the different women. I was going to fuck up the player thing I was trying to do, you feel me? I was trying to bring in a new year with a new attitude, feel me? Shiesty. But it wasn't going how I was playing, man. So I'm not about to say any names, you feel me? So we just going to call them girl one, girl two, and girl three, you feel me? So girl one, right, she pulls up to the scene, you feel me? She probably like, damn, where are all the people at? Because it's like I went to the party, and it's probably like three additional people, bro. And I already know them, so I'm like, damn, this is not going anywhere. Now, I know she's feeling pity for me, but she's just there trying to have a good time anyway. She pulled up with the bottle, you feel me? And it's all good, bro. We start having a good time, and I try to forget that this party is complete garbage you feel me i did not want to bring my 21st birthday in like this but it is what it is so now that i realize right the first girl pulled up to my party my biggest concern right now is not mixing up the girls and make sure they don't come at the same time you feel me so i'm talking to the first girl and i'm like all right listen i'm making excuses i'm talking about some yo the cops might come it's getting hot yo is nobody in the party and i'm talking about some cops coming but i'm just making excuses you feel me so listen I'm just saying whatever I could think of at the time, I don't even give a fuck if it didn't make sense. Just so she could leave the party early, by the time the other girl comes, she'll see me all alone, feel me? I'll play it off perfectly. But the way the night was going, you know that didn't happen, bruh. Oh. So no matter what I'm saying, this girl is not buying it. She is trying to stay. She wants to see the cops actually show up, bruh. It's like an hour into the party, and only like six more people came to the party, you feel me? It's just looking sad out here. So time is ticking, man, and I'm nervous, man. The other girl's about to show up at any time, bruh. And I don't know what to do. At this point, there's nothing I can do. I done ran out of excuses and lies. And she's gonna stay, bruh. This was the end of it. This was the end of my player career, bruh. And I'm only one year into it. It's time, man. It is finally time for the second girl to pull up, man. And girl number two pulls up, man. And she sees me in full action so-called cheating man I'm talking about I had girl one bent over like this you feel me I was giving her the you feel me
Now imagine girl number two, man, that's all she see when she walks into the party. She like, I can't believe this shit. I can't, I thought she was about to pull out the strap, bro. Oh man, that shit was embarrassing. It was everything in the book, man. I was tight. Now while all this is happening, right, bro, I'm looking at Jasir. I'm looking back at them, back at Jasir. I'm really looking at Jasir because I'm like, Jasir, man, save me, bro. Say anything, anything, bro. Anything to save me. This embarrassment, bro, because I don't know what to do. You feel me? And Jasir is baff. I'm talking about speechless. You feel me? He ain't know what to do. It's crazy, man. I ain't expect him to know what to do. But hey, man, I ain't a player. But don't push me. Man, oh man, I was embarrassed. But girl number two, all she could do was look and turn the fuck around, man. I'm talking about the speed of lightning. She was out that club so quick. Man, that's not even a club, whatever you call it. She was out of there quick, bro. She didn't want nothing to do with that. She almost dropped the whole bottle she came with, man. She was about to let go of that shit when she saw that light. But good thing this shit not a movie, you feel me? This is real life. Now, I know you're wondering, yo, you're in this dilemma. What are you gonna do with girl number three? Well, let me tell you. Hey, don't mind me. I'm about to go on the hike real soon, you feel me? But listen, so girl number three, right, she hasn't even pulled up to the party. And you know why? You know why she doesn't even know about the party? Because I didn't even mention it to her, bruh. And you might think, damn, bruh, she ain't seen one of those flyers? Nope, because the party was ass. <laughs> you feel me? But that's the only thing that was working in my favor, that she actually didn't know about the party. She was actually going to some other shit. And I'm acting like I'm in my dorm room and shit, sleep. Whole time I'm in the middle of this booty ass party. And getting in trouble and shit by women I wasn't even cuffed to. But that's how it is, you feel me? So I'm in a clear with girl number three, you feel me? I'm chilling, I'm chilling, but I'm still worried about what I'm gonna do with these other two girls, you feel me? The funny part is, girl number one was chilling, bro. She saw all that, she was like, ha ha, is that your little girlfriend or something? <laughs> Yo, she was tweaking that night, you feel me? But I was in enough heat, I didn't know what to do, man. I just let whatever was gonna happen, happen, you feel me? All right, man, so fast forward to the end of the night, man. It's real late, you feel me? I just got through all that trouble that I was going through. And to be honest, the party ends with probably like 20 heads total, man. And a venue that could have fit like 200, 300 people, that's crazy. That's crazy. So the party ends up with me just going back to my friend's crib, you feel me? A good group of us was probably like six, seven heads, you feel me? We had some leftover drinks, you feel me? And we were just trying to get lit for the rest of the night. And even though everything happened, I was still drunker than a motherfucker, man. I drunk everything that was thrown my way, you feel me? I didn't give a fuck. And I also fucked up there because you're not supposed to mix your liquors. And now to put the cherry on top of the bad night, I black the fuck out, bruh. I don't know what happened, bruh. I don't remember the rest of that night. That was the very first time I ever blacked out in my life, bruh. That was a new experience. And that was a cherry on top, man. If the night couldn't get worse, I black out. And guess what happens, bruh? And like I said, man, I black out. And to make matters even a little worse, I wake up to Kenny Owens. Yeah, y'all know Kenny Owens. That motherfucker drew on my face, bruh. That's crazy. I woke up to hella penises on my face, bruh. That's crazy bro i'm talking penises hey yo oh man i'm tired bro i need a seat damn man that was a long ass story time so that wraps things up that was about the time my 21st birthday party flopped and not only did it flop i lost all the girls i had that night basically man and i had to go back to my simp ways because i wasn't built for that lifestyle man i hope you guys learned the lesson don't get blacked out in front of people because you might end up with some penises on your face I'll catch you on the next one, man. Yes, sir. Let's get out of here. Damn. Like, they Tom been here. What are you talking about? He comes to the drive-thru. No, what? I think you had me confused with someone else. Nah. Yeah. I just got here off my break. Nah. Nah? What do you mean? Like, bro, Why you... Why you just order everything for Tom? Bro. <laughs>